What a colorful world it must be for the children. Crayola Crayon sells a beautifully arranged set of 72 crayons. They stand at attention in a plexiglass case, displaying more colors than anyone can find in a rainbow. In the upper left-hand corner stand boldly three colors. They don't have uncommon names such as Periwinkle or Burnt Sienna. The popular colors I speak of are gold, silver, and copper. While children may find a full spectrum of 72 colors from Crayola, there are over 700 variations of the Cinderella fairy tale. Three popular versions of Cinderella stand out from the rest in a fashion similar to that of the colors I've seen. Gold is something valued as the finest of its kind. Ashputtle by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm vividly accounts the Cinderella tale. Immediately after reading this version of this, this version to a six-year-old boy, I received an illustrated account of the tale. The picture had a cross covering the entire page. The boy said this was Ashputtle's mother's grave. Below the cross, on the left, was a tree spitting out gold and silver and producing a golden dress for Ashputtle. On the right of the cross was a large castle and church where Ashputtle was married. On the back of the page were three red stick figures. The two with the blood spurting from their feet were Ashputtle's sisters, and the other was Ashputtle. As in the picture I received, the tale is woven around the mother's grave. Ashputtle plants the tree under the grave and cries to it when she sees it, when she needs help. From the tree comes the treasure which were taken from her after her mother's death. The stepsisters were finally punished, in the end, from their own greed. Silver is capable of a high degree of polish and is associated with an agreeable, soothing tone. Charles Perrault's Cinderella is silver. Perrault tells a soft, romantic version of Cinderella. This version emphasizes Cinderella's qualities as a beautiful, hard-working, innocent young girl. The tale is filled with a magic of mice turning into fine horses and a pumpkin into a magnificent gilded coach. While her two sisters were unkind to her, Cinderella forgives both sisters, inviting them to live in the palace with her. Copper is a common and malleable metal. It is easily fashioned and shaped into a new form. Campbell Grant's adaptation of Walt Disney's Cinderella is only a whittled down version from Perot. Cinderella, her mean old stepmother, and two step sisters are introduced. Cinderella goes to the ball where the prince falls in love with her. After a long search, the prince finds Cinderella and they get married. Two mice live with them in the palace happily ever after. It is a short and sweet version of Cinderella. Yes, Cinderella can be presented in different colors. Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm weave their story around death, while Perrault makes no mention of it. Perrault focuses on forgiveness and beauty and innocence. Campbell Grant keeps a constant eye on brevity. What is the moral of this story? Cinderella looks wonderful in silver and gold. Perrault and Grimm dress her in. However, she is tarnished by the common copper 
in which Campbell Grant dresses her.